Greetings, my feet. Greetings. Long time. First and foremost, I'd really like to give a shout out to Uchila. Uchila is the first ever member of this channel. So thank you, Uchila Bra, for actually joining the channel. So as everyone else can see, there's a join button next to his subscription button on the channel. That's how you become a member, guys. Be sure to check it out, join, and also be a member of the channel. Otherwise, let's get to a video. So I feel too, I'll be showing you a few of the shortcuts that I usually use on FL Studio for me to get a better workflow and to work a bit faster. These have worked for me for a long time, so obviously they'll work for you too. I'm sure there's a lot of shortcuts you guys usually use also yourselves, which I let me know down in the comment section the type of shortcuts you usually use, which help. Yeah, now obviously guys, I don't, I won't know each and every shortcut on FL Studio, and I won't be able to go over every shortcut. So I'll just go over the few that I frequently use a lot of times, which help me every time that i work on fl studio and yeah to make this video a bit short and not take too much time just be sure to check the description there i'll put a link whereby you can download the pdf file which has each and every shortcut of fl studio so that way you'll get everything you kind of looked for in this video without any help without anyone so just download the file and get every shortcut and then implement it into your production flow every time you work you work a bit faster for me these are mine let's see so if you want to move around from as is i don't even know what to call these things from playlist to a piano roll to channel rack in a, in a mixer you use our f9 f8 f7 f6 f5 yeah anyways is to choose the plugins so as you can see once i press f5 see a playlist press f5 again go back wherever we were before a playlist press f5 see a good play playlist f7 goes to piano roll of the last thing you chose good good channel rack so as you can see we are on the base here so play the space and so we're on that base so pressing f5 goes to piano roll your base which is exactly press f6 told you by the channel rack f6 okay so f5 land hook f5 playlist then f6 channel rack then f7 piano roll ne? f8 plug-in picker i think yeah Oh, lot of plugins. So this side you have each generators. This side you have the effects. So each generators okay, are the ones that generate a sound. As you can see, up there's a. I don't know what to call this, but the options are a lot. Synth, synth, samplers, patches. These are new plugins that come with FL. As you can see, there's a flex that and something else which I don't know. Then miscellaneous and that's easy plugins. But this side on the left, I have generators. Then this side, the effects is like when you press F8, which chooses plugins. Yeah. Then F9 goes to a play we mix I have f9 goes straight to the mixer so you must just always toggle around with that with those even if when you are here as you can see whereby there is a title track there's the thing there's this thing that appears here f5 for playlist f7 for piano roll f6 for channel rack f9 for a mixer alt f8 for view browser yeah. as you can see control f8 for plugin pick there's a lot so that's how you see e shortcuts on fl every time you just toggle around something you don't have to press just move it around control e goes straight to editing step editing control lock then control t for 
typing piano keyboard. Okay, let me just test out something. Remove this. Yeah, all right. So that's basically plugins whereby we want to you <laughs> shortcuts powerful now to move around. So let's get into yeah something that I always use also is I'll make an example if I wanted to like copy this thing. Let's say this I oh, I have just these yeah. Damn. Bring back. Let's say I have just these and what I want is to copy this just like that. But for very long as you can see when I do that it takes a long time. So what I usually do is just mark this and then press control B. As you can see once you press control B the exact same copy goes next to the original. Press B again. Once you hold control B see what happens fast as ever. So I usually do that a lot of times when I want to quickly arrange. One other thing for copying and pasting which is simple is hold shift and then drag. Hold shift and drag. So this one helps me a lot quick piano roll other than up because as you can see it takes a long time. So let's just head to piano roll to see how it helps me. So I'll play this. So that's what I have for the moment. So usually I just do that and control uh, shift and drag. I mean, then I can easily to copy all that stuff. If I press control B here also it copies. But as you notice here on this part, the new copy sits exactly next to the last thing original. So you might want to maybe just move that a bit. Move it a bit just like that. Simple stuff. So also if you want to move around, let's say you want to move this thing up once. Shift and then the up arrow. Just like that. Shift downward arrow. If you want to move the octave up, control and then upward arrow control downward arrow to move octave down so now to select these things let's say you want to change this one and move it down you can just do that and then move it downwards maybe just like that maybe but let's say you want to move this one and that one and that one and that one now you can see once you try this and there the other one is no longer selected once you press the next one and pressing control doesn't actually help so what you do is to hold control and shift at the same time and then work your magic see boo, boo. just like that and then control and shift also to unselect just one. So say you wanted to move those. Okay, maybe this one might work here. I don't know. That's what I usually do so now let's move to a channel rack once again so to choose as you can see we have a synth line okay let's move to a synth let me just write synth here Okay, this is our synth. Just want to cut. Go to the synth and paste. 
now let's say you want this thing of the synth right here on the pad also you can just press ctrl c and ctrl v just to copy and paste simple as that that one is very easy that's my synth as you can see here it's not rotated to any channel so i want to move it to a free track on the mixer i think pressing ctrl l just sends it to a free track on the mixer as you can see the track is already renamed synth itself check here is track number 14 now we are on track number 14 so i can simply add effects here so what i want to do on this side is just high pass nyana delay nyana and reverb nyana and then what i'll have a new sound simple stuff but guys there's two there's two main official shortcuts on fl so as i've uh i'll, I'll just put all of the shortcuts on the description just for you to download the file and read each and every shortcut you might be interested in using because shortcut will always help you work faster help you work faster than the normal so we really should try get used to them. I think this one was here also. Yeah. Yeah, guys i hope that was helpful and once again be sure to check on the description all the shortcuts on fl studio just sure to download that be sure to download that pdf file everything is there